actually sat on the bait. So what I'm going to do, just to tease him a bit, I'm just going to move my bait a little bit and see what happens. I'm just teasing the fish. I'm just moving that bait a little bit there. And nothing's happening. Come on. Give it 30 seconds. Here goes the bite guys, he has the bite, there he is, he just lifted it, there he comes, there he comes, the sink is moving. I can actually feel him sitting on the bait and there he goes, there, ooh, 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 ah, ah. messing around, messing around. And that's why we come here, just for that fun and enjoyment, for that lovely bite. There's my diamond, over there. See the big rip current over here? My diamond's just going through a big rip current over there. And I'm going to move him in. There's a big rip current going there and he's got into the rip current. So I'm actually surfing up to the rip current. Spill or something got into the water, got them a bit, a bit excited. Good job. Let's just see if we can get it out. I'm putting money on a big one. Yeah, 
big honeycomb, one of those 50 kilo honeycombs. Oh, I followed this diamond, one of the two. This fish is giving me gears here. It's a two meter diamond that gave me a hard, hard time. What I want to show you is that when I know to a circle in the corner of the mouth, there. can you see it there? See it there, guys? Now I know to a circle in the corner of the mouth, where it should be every time. That is the size of the diamond if it's standing up straight. Yeah. Into any flatfish, don't stick your fingers in the spiracles. That's this breeding organism over there. Um, hands in the mouth, they don't bite, they, they've got soft teeth. You grab him, you'll bite down on you, and you're just moving along slowly. The lower you keep it, the easier it is to actually move the diamond. That's the first fish in the second session that we're having with the pushing card now. I didn't have the bait in the water more than three minutes. Lovely diamond. And while I was fighting mine, my partner in crime over there, Mike, gave his rod over to Roy Logan. And as you can see, Roy Logan's tight now with the diamond. Using Mike's rod. Poor Mike. <laughs> What I've decided to do now, I've scaled down a little bit, got the trusty Saltiga 325, a little uh, older model, the Seagate 4500 with 30 pound J braid, and I've put a, an all nylon trace with a 6 tuna tuner circle, so you're going to see if we can uh, have a bit of fun. I don't know if, don't know if it's the most clever idea, but uh, the fishing like it is today, I think uh, we could hook into something a bit, uh, a bit tasty. So let's uh, let's see what happens. That is pretty much what happens if you forget to bring your gloves with, and you stick your hand in a diamond's mouth. Your hands start looking like that. Look at the fingers how they're starting to look, and that's only after one diamond. Imagine after ten, what your hands look like. Basically, there's my outfit that I'm using. My tr trusty Saltiga 5000, 20 pound um, braid, uh, it's a triple fish braid. I'm using one more leader today. Again, I've still got my 9 on. I'm gonna rig up with a four ounce sinker, which I've just got. But I'm gonna make a much, much smaller bait. I always get asked, I'm using circle look, but I'm all duffing fish. The reason 90% of the people duff a diamond or a skate bite is that they put the bait in front of the actual eye part here, the, 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 the point of the hook. So they block that whole gape area. Always try and keep it down as far as possible. Okay, you get a better hook set that way. There we go, this is my little four ounce sinker, my little bait for my diamond, my 20 pound braid, let's see what happens. As was expected, the diamonds really came on with a push of the tide, and we were fortunate to get a lot of those bites. Soon anglers from all around us joined us on the bank to get stuck into the action. This resulted in Ray running off to a bank further left where there was more fish coming out. Obviously less baits in the water will raise your odds. Mo and Zafa also got stuck into the action, and it was just diamonds everywhere.
the day. Seven diamonds later. And because my bag and everything's down that side, I'm just walking in down that side. The guys give me a bit of a tussle this one. Just walking the dog to my box over there, that's all I'm doing.